All right, welcome to this uh, coding session of anomaly detection systems. And I promised to bring in a new data set, which is the credit card fraud detection data set, which you can find on Kaggle. And here is the, the link to the data set. So the first thing I want to do is download that data set. And that goes uh, pretty fast. Uh, once there is a download, I want to uh, load this data set onto my uh, Google Drive. So let's make a move to Google Drive. And here we go. Now, the data set that we're going to look at is going to be a CSV file. Yeah? And uh, we've dealt with CSV files uh, in the past, specifically with um, uh, K-Nearest Neighbors Pima Indians. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that file and uh, see if I can reuse some of the code uh, of that file, especially when it comes to pre-processing. So let me open, sorry, no, first one I'm going to do, I'm going to upload this uh, CSV file. Here it is, credit card CSV. So let me do the upload. And then we're going to open the uh, Pima Indian data diabetes case. So here we go. And the first thing that I will do, as always, is uh, change the name of the file and run the code yeah, so let's uh, let's run the code to see if the drive is mounted and here we're gonna make this anomaly detection and then credit credit card fraud all right so this we take out equals to 26 so our data is clean and in the meanwhile, we're running. Um, so let's see if we still need a drive to mount. Let me go to files. Yes. So I don't see Google Drive here. So yes, we will need to mount Google Drive. Here we go. So let's get that famous code. You know the routine. Here it is. All right. Now let's paste that code and see where we end up. So if I click on refresh here, you're going to see that my Google Drive will appear. Here it is. So I'm going to open it. My drive, it's in Colab Notebooks. And what I'm going to do is to uh, right click on that file and copy the path. Yeah? Here, these are the standard uh, libraries. We will not need uh, matplotlib. Yeah? Um, Google Drive is mounted. mounted. So let's uh, read in the, the data frame. Yeah? Here is a data frame that we create by reading in the CSV file. Yeah? So the only thing that has changed here is that instead of diabetes CSV, it's going to be credit card, credit card CSV. So now I should be able to run this code and DF head will give us the first five lines so that we can take a look uh, at the data. And then I'm going to see what shape this, uh, this matrix is. Yeah? So let's run it. Here you can, I can already uh, take that away. Here we are. So this is the data set. Um, this is the index column in the beginning. Then we have a time column. And then we have V1 to V28. And these are actually the features. Then here is the transacted amount. And in the last column, we have the class. The class means fraud or no fraud. So if we look at the shape of, of that data frame, it's a matrix of 284,807 by 31 columns. Yeah. Um, the, the file here 
is a bit different from uh, Pima Indians in that uh, aspect that uh, there's no zero values or there's no empty spaces. So we can all delete this. I don't need to change the type. I don't need to take uh, medians. Um, I don't need to do DF heads. Skin thickness can drop. Okay. Um, this I have to do. Yeah, because what I want to do, I want to, you know, do some supervised uh, type of learning by splitting my data set in a uh, feature uh, vector and a label values because I have a few labels. So I, I can just run this code. The only thing that I need to do is to change the class to change outcome to class because our last column was called class and not outcome. No. So okay, so I make two arrays now, feature array and a label array. And then what we can do is we also can uh, import the train test split to actually create our training set as well as our test set. Let me see if I need to change anything. No, we're going to go for 20% test size. Random state is 42. This makes sure that every time you run the program, it uses the same values. And it's important that stratify is equal to Y. Stratify uh, keeps the percentage of uh, one class versus the other the same when you actually uh, develop your test set. So that's quite important to do. So let me drop this one. Uh, Pre-processing standard scalar for the time. I would not do it. So let me comment this out. We can add it later and see if it has any influence. It could have influence because um, with local outlier factor, remember that we deal with distance. Yeah? Um, so, so let's see, let's try later on. Well, let me delete that comment line here. Let me also delete this line. And here we can, we can change it. We're ready to use anomaly detection algorithm. So now you see that, uh, I've actually not written any any code, yeah, and I already have my. Um, so let me see, okay, nearest neighbor. I can drop that one. I can drop all of this. Huh? Don't need anything of that. All right. So I have not written uh, any any code. And we're already at the uh, the application of the anomaly detection algorithm, so the pre-processing was actually easy to do. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, pip install this library pyod. Yeah, this is something we need to do. This will go very fast. <laughs> 